One of my favorite authors, James Allen, put it like this, good thoughts and actions can never produce bad results. Bad thoughts and actions can never produce good results. In other words, today's choices predict tomorrow's success or lack thereof. The law of sowing and reaping is as simple as one plus one equals two. First we sow and then we reap. The same equation applies to all of us. Like gravity, the law works all day, every day, in every corner of the world, regardless of whether we're aware of it or even if we dismiss it as being old-fashioned or unfair. It's simply impossible to sow mediocrity and reap excellence. But these days, millions of people refuse to accept this simple truth. Instead, they hope to reap the good things of life without first sowing effort and excellence. It's popular today to insist on equal outcomes and equal goodies regardless of work ethic or value creation. Some even grow bitter and resentful when they do not receive the fruit they did not plant. Even as physically mature adults, they have not yet learned that the fruit we harvest comes from the seeds we sow. In the Bible, however, we are warned not to be duped, that this concept of sowing and reaping is not a trendy theory, but an eternal law. In other words, what we plan or neglect to plant has consequences. This means spiritually, relationally, physically, financially, and so on. You see, there's a built-in desire inside of each of us to look into the future and wonder what it will bring. We all hope that something good is coming our way and also to those we love. And again, our Heavenly Father, by way of the Apostle Paul, assures us in 2 Corinthians with this clear-cut promise, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. This is a big clue for how the world works. Really more of a friendly reminder from the creator of the universe. If only we would pay attention to it. This is Tommy Newberry, because mindset makes all the difference.